day. This is Caroline, Dream with Caroline. And today I am working on my um, mermaid cover. So this is my journal, fabric journal, um, inspired by Kay Corner. And um, I know, I know, I know. So I found some fabric that looked like waves and colors that would go good in the journal. It's a, just a little thin fabric, this way I guess. And this will be laid here, and then the same fabric carried on up there, and I cut it and just make layers. So it'll be two layers. And I pulled all the, well not all, but I pulled out a lot of the lines, and then I glued around so it won't, um, you know, take off anymore. But I kept all these little strings, because you never know, I might, uh, might be nice as a, I don't know, something wild, because that's the way this journal is going to be, it's going to be wild. So now I have uh, wool strings from, from the fabric, the cover, and I have the strings from this one so far. So when I'm finished, I'll have lots of strings, and uh, that will be the last thing I'd probably add on, I'll probably add on to a tay or something. So. Here I go now. I'm going to just glue this down. Note what I'm going to do first. I'm not going to do this first. I found this little thing I've made um, probably three, four years ago. I followed uh, a lot of girls. On, I, I tried to find it last night because I, I, I'm i sure I liked their videos and tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. But it could be from uh, Treasure Books or um, Natasha or yeah, the other girl, <laughs> Rachel. There was a whole lot of girls who were online and they were making things and, and I just made one right away. So uh, I made three actually. But I didn't put them in my journals that I made then. I had made a um, garden journal and so I made three right away so I don't um, remember how to make them. But I don't know how to make them. But I think it's just ruffled around and you cut, cut, cut. So it's layers. So then you put a little button and you sew the button on. Look at that. The, sew, the thread goes right through. So um, this one is this one is perfect for um, my journal. I'm going to put it there along with her, the mermaid. And it has a little face on the button. Now I'm sure my camera won't pick it up, but there's a little face here in the middle of the button. And it's a shiny, you know, it's like, almost like a, a, from a soldier or someone who's traveling on a ship that might have lost her button. Anyway, I'm going to put it there and it'll look like it's on her hair. These strings now, I'm going to get my way. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do before I put that fabric on there is I'm going to um, glitter this up. And I'm going to do this first because if it doesn't work, then I'll have to make another one. So, I just want to put a little bit of shine. There's this gold from this is like going everywhere and so I, where I placed it, like it's on her face already. So I thought it'd be cute if it actually stayed there. But I'm not too fussy about having gold on her face. See that? Look at a lot of, lot of gold hanging around now. But the silver, I have silver. Silver and um, like a glittery fine glitter. It says glue. And this one will be silver. I'm going to try the glitter glue first. I know it says glue, but it's got glitter in it. So I'm just going to dab the water dots and see how it looks. Just to give it a little more depth. And a little bit extra. little dots. Hopefully it dries nicely. It is a little glitter. little glitter and it picks up the light. I 
I have this stuff because I did um, mixed media art. I never use it in a journal. Yeah. How's that? I think that's that's good. There, put it on the little circles of white. Just pick that up even more. Now, yeah, so I'm gonna let that dry. It'll probably take days for that to dry, dots. But I'll go ahead and I'll uh, glue it, these two down. Oh my goodness, that glitter is everywhere. This is gonna be a wild journal. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> so different, the strings. Everything sticks to this material too. But I'm just going to, now I say I put glue around and that dried. And just to keep from falling apart. Now, glue. Okie dokie, where's my little needle? Of course I put the thread and needle away from yesterday. I say yesterday, but thread is still there, what happened to the needle? Why does this glue do this? Um, I have nothing now. Where's that little needle too on there? Put it under this paper? No, it wouldn't be under that paper. It wouldn't be that easy to be under that paper. Well, dear Eliza. Whoa, look at that. Went right through my paper. <laughs> No. Mary, Mary. Come on. All the strength is in me. It's not going to work if I can't get this to actually run. I did put some um, extra paper behind my behind my copy of my mermaid to give it a little bit of a strength. Especially when I go to glue it down, I didn't want it to have uh, dabs of glue showing up through the paper. So I made it. I put paper behind. Now, did I just touch a dot when I did that? Yes, it's on my finger. <laughs> Can't leave well enough alone. Oh my goodness. Come on. I'm gonna open this up. Use the spoon. Press this up. Okay. Oh, and you know, I found out that uh, this camera has a pause. I'm not saying a strange camera don't have a pause. But it's not on the camera. It's on the remote control. This camera came with a remote control. So, and the remote control, you can pause the camera. But I don't have the remote control next to me. Oh, do I know that I need it next to me? And there it be. I'd like to try it out to see if it, does it actually like, just pause it or does it, um, but I'm, I'm glad to find out that. I'm going to try to. It's pausing. I could be gone and get the little needle that I need to open this thing up. Good grief. Alright. It's going to have another layer on top. I do stand them up on her heads. There's a little hole here. See? Goes in the hole. <laughs> Showed you that a thousand times. All right, Caroline, let's get her over there. Come on, little one. Now, the dark on the bottom. So just mix that way. And let's see. It's really dark. I can't see it. 
that? Does that look like it's in the middle? Let me get it moved up. down. Don't really want that glue to move anywhere. See, this is it, eh? Maybe you can see the glue through. I guess it will uh, dry clear, but it doesn't matter. I'll put another piece over it, and then the paper will be on top of the other one. And here's one. Wild as I can get. Just have these little Second piece. Which way did I put the glue? This this um, material does have a shine to it, but um, wherever I put the glue now is where I'll put the glue. So the glue was here, and it will be there again. Threads. I get those threads put away now. I showed them twice. Bottle be nice, baby. I don't know. Beautiful day here. Lovely birds around at my feeder. I guess they're happy after a long flight to have somewhere to come and actually eat. The robins don't come to the feeders, of course. They're too wild, they will never come. They come close to the house and get their worms, but they... Oh, and when I'm gardening, the robin is right there. Let's see, thank you very much for digging this up for me. <laughs> but I'm not out there yet. I'm gardening yet. And I can't move... Um, I can't move too much dead leaves and stuff around because the bees, they're still asleep. And they're under there. And last year I did come across it when... I, and it was late too, but they don't uh, they don't get moved for a while. Get moving. There we go. Come on, glue. Like this is craziness, eh? Oh, good grief. Okay, I'm going to put the light, light gray up there. It's almost the same size. Couldn't go any wider on anything because the narrowness of the journal. Just pat it down. wild side here. I might tip that up a little bit and get it over the picture. I was looking at that. That's a bit up there, isn't it? Come down a little bit. See, but there's a frill here. See, it's so dark. I should have maybe picked a different color, but anyway, that's that now. Oh, stop putting your fingers on it. <laughs> it will be dry because we know that the glitter is on the card, but it uh, won't be sticking out. I mean, that's not so, such a bad idea to not have actual. Oh, we'll just leave it now. And that will go there. 
just wanted to see how it uh, fits. Yes. I was going to put, I think about putting a border around it, but it closes it in so much and it takes away from this nice frilly that I worked so hard on. Sitting down. Everything takes time, I think. Sitting down. Pulling all these threads out and make all this. Okay, um, so this is still drying, and I can't put that there until that is there. I don't know how I'm going to add this on here, I wonder. Um, just a lot of glue, maybe some real good glue. We'll see how that goes after. But that's it for today. That's all I have to show you. Well, it's not it for today because I'm going to add this piece to another piece. So, no need to say goodbye. Um, I'm just going to add another piece when this is dry. I see the little bubbles. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to pat them down. Does the nail actually dry? What do you think? Should I? Or should I? Uh, maybe I'll just put those bubbles back on, the ones I touched. Great, Charlie. Where is that needle to? Because I need it again, man. Look. Just one of the dabs. Not blobs or it. Not one blobs or it. Where's the big little blob? Anyway, we'll let her dry. So that's it for my little cover. Oh, and I'll be back to make the next page. Okay, see ya.